Hi guys, it's Jason here from Lowen Roads. We're looking at the 2020 Bailey 764 Silver Edition that we've got in stock. Now this is available immediately. If you are interested, send us a message, give us a call, or pop on down. We're in Stoke and Trenton, Staffordshire. All the details to us and this motorhome are on the description below. Now back to this. So this is a four berth, four travel seats motorhome. You're on the Persia, uh, the Persia engine. Lengthwise, it's 7.6 meters long, and you're under your three and a half ton weight class. So you don't need a C1 for this. Anybody can drive it. Spec wise, it's quite nice. You're a silver edition, which is a, a step up in the Bailey uh, hierarchy. You've got your canopy fitted on the top. You've got your solar panel on the roof. You've got sat nav. You have a dash cam, air conditioning in the front cab. You've got your four bike rack on the back. And of course, up there, you'll see your reverse camera just hidden out the way. We'll have a look at the inside and check it out. You've got your special silver edition coloring, of course, with your silver and navy decals. The front cab is a silver cab. That's somewhat uh, special to the silver edition, of course. Now, as we said on the front, it is on the Peugeot, 160 brake horsepower in this. Now, this is a six speed manual. You do have your cruise control. You'll see you've got your TomTom Tom sat nav all in there. You can connect your phone to this one so you can stream music and also, of course, take phone calls. And just down there, that's your aircon button for the front cab. Up at the top, you've got your dash cam, which is that little monitor there, and your reverse camera does come through as the same screen as your TomTom Tom there. So when you stick it in reverse, it's gonna it's gonna pop up. You've got dual captain swivel chairs. So of course, what I mean by that is both these two chairs face backwards into the lounge, opening this entire lounge area up. So you've got two seats there, two seat belts, and you've got your other two just here in this fixed dinette area. Now the table, this can go up. It can be completely removed and packed away, opening this lounge up. If you use it, if you drop it down to that bottom rail along there, that and bend the knee, that acts as a, a support for a bed. So you can make a double bed out of this combined with this side seat. You've got a nice big double bed and that's what we call a, a dinette conversion. Storage wise, you've got the overhead compartments up here. You've got your nice spotlights, your Alliance Sil uh, Silver Edition decals up there. So more storage. Now heating wise, you are on the Truma blower air heating in here. Your main bed, of course, is this big French bed. You do have storage underneath here. There's a little handle. It's on a sort of spring mechanism. So you'll see you've got some storage down there. And down, perhaps you can't see it, but just in that corner, there's an access hatch. You open that up. And that'll give you storage to this uh, access to this storage down below. If you wanted to pop a television here, you can pop it on this ledge where you've got your television standpoint, so you can have it facing into the the, the bedroom area. Looking into the kitchen now, you've got your your Thetford triplex oven. You've got your three gas burner cooking tops your integrated microwave, some storage up here, of course your sink, as well as your fridge and freezer down there. We've got some wardrobe space just here. A rail up at the top. I'm not sure that little device is related to the solar panel and some shel shelving units down here. Now moving on further into the rear, you have got a rear washroom in here with a separate toilet that does swivel and separate shower. That's a huge, huge feature. Certainly makes it a little bit more desirable. So you've got your comfort, you've got your separate shower chamber, which is a nice decent size. You've got the door, which just un unhooks on the top and can be spun around to here. You've got your sink and your mirror. So this makes a sort of washroom side a little bit more comfortable. If you're away for a little bit more longer than a weekend, you've got that comfort. 
So this is the interior of the motorhome. I would say it's nice and stylish. It does come with carpets, we just don't have them down right now. But it's a nice, practical, functional layout. Going on to the outside now, we'll have a bit of a walk around. So you've got your LPG gas locker in there. You do have an external barbecue point, so you can connect that into there. The body work on this is really quite nice. It's been well looked after. It's done just under 20,000 miles, actually just under 19, I believe in this. You've got your four-way bike rack, like we said earlier on the back, and it is good to go. Now, if you are interested in this, or any of the vehicles that you see on the channel, feel free to go to the description below. You'll see all the details in there. Or come on down, come down to our, our yard and have a look around. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and, uh, and share and all that, uh, Bonanza. Thank you.